Hello y'all, it's Willie Bill. I uh, got some uh, new review for you today. Uh, shit. Is that thing working? Yeah, let's start over. <sighs> Hello y'all, it's Willie Bill. Uh, I got a review for you today. Seems like we got kind of a tool theme, garage theme going on here for some reason. Uh, today we're going to review these rubber gloves. Uh, I say rubber just because that's a term we're used to using. In this case, these gloves are made of something called natural. Now, natural, as I understand it, is a different type of material uh, that less people have an allergic reaction to. Uh, in the medical industry, it's been very common that they use a latex glove. Now, there are a lot of people that have a latex allergy now whatever this evolution of our population is where we're becoming allergic to all these different substances. So, a lot of companies are now making gloves out of something called natural. Uh, I do not have a latex allergy. These are gloves that I happen to see on the internet. I needed gloves because I ran out of gloves. So I bought these gloves. Now, I don't know Glove Works, this company. What is that? I got like a bug on my leg. Where'd you come from? Will you climb on my finger? Oh, you will. Look at that, y'all. I got some cool looking bug on my finger. This camouflage must really work. Thinks he's on a tree. That is a very cool bug. I hope that's not some kind of stink bug. I wonder if I can get him to go somewhere else. Go on there. No, oh, man. Go away. I'm doing a very important thing. Here, go on that. Go on that ammo can. Come on. Go. That's crazy right there, right? I just blew that guy off my finger. He must have fallen like a thousand times his own height. He's just fine. He's walking around the grass over there. If, if you blew me off a ledge a thousand times my height, I'm not walking on the grass. It just shows you, if insects ever get to be the size of humans, we are done. They will win for sure. Anyhow, let's go back to these gloves. So, this Glove Works company, uh, these gloves had some good reviews, whatever. Um, I like the bright color. A lot of times when you're working on something, you get some grease. It's nice to be able to see where it is on your hand uh, before you touch something else. Uh, you know which fingers are clean, essentially. And I like that. So I ordered these. Uh, I do have a problem with the size of the box that came in. I've got these holders in my shop, and they fit a standard size glove box. I did not understand that this is such a large box when I ordered it. This does not fit in my holder. So, glove works. I kind of wish this would have been the standard size, but that's beside the point. Let's, uh, let's worry about the gloves. So to review the packaging, this package contains 100 gloves. They're extra thick. They're heavy duty. They got a picture here of someone holding a ranch with one. Uh, that's about the cleanest wrench I've ever seen, so uh, I don't know what message they're trying to convey because it has a very clean glove and a very clean wrench, so this must be some kind of model situation. They're not actually doing any work. Where are these things made? It's got a reorder number. Made in Malaysia. Okay, so much for American-made rubber gloves. These are made in Malaysia. The company that distributes these things is called Amex Corporation, Kent, Washington. So it's an American company manufacturing these gloves in Malaysia. They are intended for industrial use only. They may not be worn for bear protection and medical health care applications. Please select other gloves for these applications. You can be allergic to natural. Do not expose harsh chemicals, 
So there's a bunch of warnings on here that you could even be you could even be uh, allergic to the natural. Uh, though I don't I don't know anybody that has that problem. Man, I'm clouds doing something funny. Anyhow, uh, so the gloves from Malaysia, not for medical use. Here's your glove. So these gloves seem to be very sticky. Uh, I remember, I think it was latex gloves used to come with like a powder on them. It would keep them from sticking together. Uh, this one clearly doesn't have that. But, it does go on your hand just fine. Well, that's odd. It's got a texture to it, which I can imagine is probably quite helpful when you're actually handling something. Yeah, that's all right. They also put the texture on the outside. That's a little funny. Um, although, these gloves are designed to fit on either hand, so I guess they gotta put the texture on both sides in case I put it you know, on my other hand, then the, the texture would be there like that. So that's fine. Wonder if this would work for those, those people that do the, what was that, the rock climbing? And they stick their, their hands in like a crack in a rock and then they do like a thing where they, they twist it so it like locks their fingers in. I wonder if a rock climber used this uh, glove works or it's not a glove and, and if they get extra traction with that. I don't know. One of you guys should try that. Uh, so if anybody wants to try rock climbing with the orange natural glove, definitely let me know how that works out. Seems like a fine glove. I've used these a couple times. They work like a uh, they work like a glove. Fits like a glove. It is a glove. I don't know. There used to be a uh, well, used to be the guy's still around. It's a, a gentleman by the name of Howie Mandel. Uh, used to be big with stand-up comedy. Uh, I know he still does it. I believe he's still quite good, but. Uh, he used to do a thing where he'd stretch a glove on his head and like blow it up with his nose. I'm pretty sure you couldn't do that with this one. It don't seem to stretch enough. I don't know if you can inflate it. You can. It doesn't seem like it's gonna pop either. So that's cool. I don't really have much else to say. This is uh, Glove Works Orange Nano Glove. Uh, seems to work good. Wish the box was a little smaller. That's about it. Uh, Howie, if you're watching this, uh, don't get these ones if you put them on your head. You're going to have to go find some of them, those old ones. That's my review of the Glove Works Orange Nitro Glove. Take care, y'all.